Hi everyone, this is Sunil here. Um, hope you're all doing great. So we're going to start this class, and in this class we're going to talk about cleanse functions, the cleansing abilities of Informatica MDM. What are the limitations? What are all the external uh, configurations you could do, and all that. So let's start. These are the cleanse functions that you can see here. So first of all, these are all the different uh, custom cleanse functions that are. Uh, I mean, these are all the cleanse functions that are provided by Informatica by default. I mean, comes with the product, and you can check all of these. All these are very basic thing. This one talks about how to concatenate. So for example, let's say I have something called as uh, Sunil. And I have this is my name, and I'm gonna concatenate this, and you can see the output. So similarly, you have all these basic uh, functions, basic features that are provided to support this. And if you wanna extend it, you can also see there are some other features. For example, like uh, you can see here, there is a miscellaneous functions. Now this is used for manual rejecting. This is the lookup feature that you have in there, and. You have different math functions, not uh, really necessary, but uh, logic functions are pretty much important. You can see all these logic functions are very important, and uh, you can see the date conversion. This is also very much important, and custom is something that is created by the user, right? So uh, you will see that the, the cleansing abilities of Informatica MDM is quite limited. So by default, it is quite limited. So you need a mechanism to extend it to create some more uh, cleansing abilities how do you do that you can either integrate external adapters with informatica mdm and use them as a cleanse functions for example you could uh, always integrate uh, something like trillium uh, or you want to do it with first logic or idq if you want to do or the sap uh, data services if you want to integrate that if you can also do that right so these are the different x um, options but you need separate licensing for all of that uh, now let's talk about by default what are all the things that you can do so you uh, take a log right now you can see here there are three types of thing i can do i can add a user library i can add a java library and i can also add an idq library basically what uh, user library is the most important thing because you're going to create all the custom things in the user library and in the java library um, not uh, needed in most of the cases, but if you want to uh, import the program, uh, what do you say? Let's say if you have a Java program and if you want to import it as a uh, cleanse function, you could do that. And you need to use this particular feature. You have to create the program, the Java program there, um, and you export it to a jar file. Then you need to import that Java program in here, okay? And then you have an IDQ library if you want to use IDQ as a cleanse function, IDQ mapping as a cleanse function in here. You can use that, but that's a disadvantage. The problem is uh, IDQ, uh, the call to IDQ will be made on the architecture of web services and web services uh, have their own drawbacks. That is, if there is some problem with the network or IDQ server, then that's going to impact the MDM. And uh, basically there are a lot of disadvantages. Web services are always slow if you want to process a lot of data. Web services are very good if you want to process a uh, few set of data in real time, that's really good. But if you want to process more, then that's uh, not that effective, right? Uh, you don't want to use that. It's better to go with bad style. Now, the let's try to go and create a user library and see. Uh, let's say, I'll name it as demo. Right, so you can create a user library which is nothing but just a folder, and inside of this, you are going to create all the different custom functions. For example, if you want to create a, uh, there are basically three types of functions one is a graph function, one is a uh, cleanse list. I think there is some error in here in this particular repository. Let me check it in something else. So this is done now, as you can see here. Uh, let me go here, and when I right click, I can see three different things. I can see an add a graph function, add a regex function, add a cleanse list, right? So these are the three things I can see. So basically, these are all the things that you can do. And regarding the graph function, regular expression function, and cleanse list, I have discussed uh, regarding all of this in separate videos. You can check it out. 
right? Because these are all full-fledged functions, and I again I don't want to repeat uh, what whatever I said, right? So you create all of this, and uh, basically regular expression uh, function is something that uses leverages the fe feature of regular expression. Cleanse list is you can be used for standardization. Uh, can be used for validation as well it's quite versatile and it's the most important uh, uh, tool you check the other video and you have graph function that's nothing but it's a maplet concept what you have in informatica power center or in most of the etl tools right there's the same feature that you have and uh, yeah so that's all the cleansing features that uh, you have and if you want to integrate address doctor as well uh, the way you do it in idq so you can also do it uh, here you need to do certain mandatory steps that's there in the cleanse adapter guide and once you uh, do it you need a separate license for this right so once you have this files all the xml files you configure it and all those things you need to do once you do this um, for example this is clearly mentioned in here the cleanse adapter guide it must be in here yeah right this is what I'm talking about, the cleanse adapter guide. You can check the address doctor how to integrate it. And once you do that, you can use this as a uh, cleanse function. You can uh, simply use it as a cleanse function to either uh, uh, either correct the data or uh, uh, validate the data or enrich the data. You could use it, right? And for example, this is used in here, as you can see here. Uh, in here, you can see this is used as a, this is my address doctor, what you see here and yeah this is these are all i'm passing all the parameters and all this to that so basically uh, yeah for address doctor also i made a separate video you can check it out okay so this was short demonstration on the cleansing abilities features and how to extend uh, all of the things right so i'll finish the video with that thanks guys thank you very much for uh, watching thanks